Welcome back, friends, to the shop. I haven't been, get, haven't been getting any rest for all the emails that have been flooding in asking me the very same thing. Hey, when are, when are you going to review the IKEA homeowner toolkit? Well, I didn't know about the homeowner toolkit, and, and I'm not saying that because I've never been to IKEA. Um, unfortunately, I have been to IKEA more times than I'd like to admit. And before you judge me, just wait. You get your wife pregnant and she gets into that nesting phase. And if you live in a city or anywhere within, I would say, a 500 mile radius of an IKEA, you will find yourself there. And their marketing is very insidious. And you will walk through and you will go through all the mazes like a mouse. And at the very end, propped up right next to the cash register, is the IKEA toolkit for $11.99. You just can't resist it. You know what's inside, but, <laughs> but at $11.99 in, uh, in, in a nice orange package, uh, you find yourself throwing it into the bin, right? Well, maybe it might be easier just to buy that than to try to find that claw hammer that I know I have somewhere. So let's uh, open it up, take a look, put it through its paces, and see, is it worth $11.99? What have the Swedes come up with now? Ah, the Swedish people, so environmentally aware, and yet uh, everything in Ikea made in China. They strain at the gnat and swallow the camel. All right, you know, you guys might be a little bit surprised, but this is actually a very well put together kit. I mean, if you were going to, I thought about this, I sat here and looked at it before I turned the camera on. If you were going to ask me to put together four tools for, for just working around the house, you know, for your, your average millennial that wants to uh, distinguish himself from his peers, what better kit could you have than this? You've got a pair of pliers that have the ability to grab and twist and undo all sorts of things, round bolts, wire cutters. You have a, a, multi, a combination screwdriver with all sorts of different bits, even more so than you were going to need. You have a nice hammer right there that's not really a framing hammer design, but not really a finish hammer with the claw, the, the radius of it, which is just about perfect. And you have uh, a small crescent wrench uh, that opens up big enough to get on most of the bolts that you're going to find in your house. Uh, and a handle short enough that you can, can work with it in confined spaces. I mean, it, re it actually really is a brilliant little kit. Quality-wise here, we'll find out in a minute. I thought it might be fun. What if we took, if I was going to put this together, like if I was going to put together the IKEA Dream Kit, what, what would that be here? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, it would come down to it would come down to a pair of pliers not unlike these. <laughs> How about that? Because this little plier, it's you know, it's versatile uh, in that it can do a lot of different things. It's kind of uh, the humble plier. I don't. I mean, I don't even carry this in my main kit. I have these in my electrical kit because that flat duckbill. Uh, design of it is good for grabbing and twisting wires, right? But then you have also the cutter. And if you look here carefully, it's kind of interesting. Do you see how that's all hollowed out in there? You, know, you can see this. That way you can cut large diameter material, right? I mean, just lots of, uh, a lot of thought has went into these, these tools to get them into our hands today. And then down here, you have some small serrations down there that can be used for grasping uh, or twisting things um, and that are a little bit larger. You can see it's open there. I mean, just very similar uh, to, the <laughs> to the Kanipec. So a pair of pliers like that wouldn't go wrong. You know, I went back and forth. Uh, I am a new convert to the, to the Kanipec's Cobras. You know, I'll tell you, my, my subscriber, Stu, is right. He took me to task when I kept promoting it, what, how wonderful these old school pliers were, right? I mean, how many times have I showed them in tool kits and such? And, and here, I mean, these are the best of the best right there. That's a snap-on pair, and here's just a cheapo pair. Well, Stu took me to task on that and said, no, those are a relic of the past. You need to get them out of your toolbox. But I was so dogmatic about it because this was something that granddad always had uh, front and center. And I, and I just hadn't really thought about it. But, you know, to be, if I was going to be honest, and after using the Cobra-style pliers, these things are terrible. <laughs> so they're, they're actually working their way out of my rotation. So when I was thinking, if I was going to choose a pair of pliers for the kit, wouldn't I choose the Cobras because they're so superior? I mean, they're just, oh, these little ones are the best. And special thanks really quickly to my friend Lars, for, who sent me a gift from Germany. Um, with all of these wonderful screwdrivers I'm going to show you and lots of things. And he sent these Cobra pliers. pliers. So thank you for that package, Lars. Okay, so I couldn't choose, choose these, and the, and the Swedish designer was right when he shows this style because it is the most versatile for just the common household thing. You can't cut wire. 
And if you can't cut wire, uh, that's a problem. That's just something that to most people are just not going to have the ability to do that you can do with this style here. So that kind of rules these out. These are not as good as grabbers, but I would have to agree. So this, we're going to put the dream team on the top and we're going to put the Ikea on the bottom. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go to this here. Is this the best choice? Well, again, I, th I would have thought, well, I'll just get, you know, for my dream team box here, I'll just get a, a, um, a good quality, like a Crescent brand, uh, you know, nitrite coated uh, Crescent wrench. But again, I have uh, somewhat uh, a little bit late to the game. I've been recently turned on to these guys. Never again uh, to use a bolt rounder when you can have access to the, these Kanipex. This is not a sponsored video, guys. I'm just, I just love this stuff. It's, just, it's that good. But look what you have here. You, have a, you click on the push button. I don't even know what these things are called, but you can get on a bolt that big. You can literally, in a bind, you can undo a trailer ball bulb, ball, right? You're gonna do that with your, any crescent wrench, unless it's a huge one, right? And it's, it's just excellent. It even has the sizes on there in metric and standard. So if you know the size, you can simply dial a size. You dial a bolt all the way up to what? I can't read it. That's 52, mil 52 millimeters. Who has a 52 millimeter socket, right? And this one here goes all the way up to two inch. I don't even have a crescent wrench that it will go that big. So if we're gonna, if we're gonna go for the Dream Team I IKEA tool set right here, um, I'm gonna go with these guys, right? Which is, it's basically the same thing, just <laughs> a little bit higher quality. Okay, screwdrivers. This little screwdriver is a handy little guy and it's gonna come with every bit you could possibly want uh, to put together your Ikea furniture. Now, I'm not looking at this kit like an Ikea furniture deal, because they, you know, they come with the tools that you need for the most part. Uh, but you've got a lot of stuff. You've got your hex heads and you've uh, got several sizes of Phillips. You've even got an awl there. This is the thing that's, that just really made me like this kit, was this. I've never seen it before. And I like it. How handy is that to have an awl, you know, to punch a hole in leather, a bazillion different things. I mean, every multi-tool worth its salt has got an awl on it. And it's something that most guys don't even have in their house. <laughs> I thought that was, whoever put this together, they knew, they definitely knew tools. But we have uh, three sizes of our, just our hexes. We got a number, uh, a number three, Phillips, number two, a number one. Uh, I don't, that might be, maybe two. Yeah, no, this number twos. Two number threes, two number twos, and then a number one, maybe there? No, it might be a two. The only time you're going to need a size one Phillips bit is uh, Christmas time when uh, and someone gives your children uh, to uh, toys with batteries and you got to re do that little tiny screw that's always a, like a number one, some oddball thing to get the battery in it. You're best off just to tell them it doesn't run with batteries or it's broken. But that's pretty good, right? So... Um, yeah, and just the, got the little magnetic deal and no, nothing new there, but that's handy. Um, but if I was going to assemble my Dream Team screwdrivers, I'll tell you guys, I don't know, what are the name of these things? These are the ones that Lars sent me, Wura, W-E-R-A. I've been using them for two weeks now. These are the best screwdrivers in the entire world, ever, period. I don't care. I, I, I've been, you know, worked as a mechanic. I've worked, I worked with tools my whole life. These are the best. They are, have the, the Phillips, the way that it grabs is, it even has serrations on there, look at that. The way that it grabs uh, is incredible, the ergonomics and just the texture of this, it's kind of grippy, but kind of slippery. Uh, it's just perfect. It works good, really good when your hands are greasy. I would, uh, I would get a number, I would get these screwdrivers. I, I don't even know if they're on Amazon. And one thing that's really handy is, do you see this right there? You, on the larger screwdrivers, I think the, the, the number two Phillips, there's a one that there's a long one, a mate to this one has this. This is the handiest thing you could have, and you only find it usually on good screwdrivers. And it's, you put a wrench on it, right? So when you have, when you have something that's really tight and you can't, just, you just don't have the hand strength, you can put your crescent wrench or something on there like that, and now you can turn it. You've got an aid that that will hook on there. I love that. The first time I saw that was on Snap-on Tools, and that was excellent. But if you can get your hands on these, maybe someone can find a U.S. dealer, and we can put a link up there. These are the best screwdrivers I've ever used. So what I would do is, is for the Dream Kit, I would get a, a, a regular and a standard, just like these configured, 
and I would uh, get my my main torques, which usually come down. What we got there? We've got a T. We got a T25, a 20, and a 15. That will fit most of the things uh, that I've run into. I like the dedicated torques wrenches because you can't keep you can't keep these things. They're just they're you just lose them. Having something loose like that just doesn't work. It's got to have a handle attached to it in a bright color, right? So finally, to round everything off. Uh, we've got the hammer. And of course, a hammer is a must have item and I have, can't really find any fault with this hammer. It, um, you know, it's not gonna be the strongest thing, but it has, you got get a nice set of claws on there. You have the ability to, to pry up and lift things. You can pull nails. You've got a smooth face, so you're not gonna be chewing up your drywall. I don't imagine that any of the IKEA millennials are gonna be building their own home. So we're not asking, you know, we're not saying that you have to have something like the, uh, a stiletto titanium framing hammer, right? This is not appropriate for inside the house, and this might be a little bit better. But uh, so how would I round up my kit? Well, I'd get myself a good proper hammer. <laughs> that would be, if, have I got everything? Yeah, well, this too. You know, seeing the hammer right there. So here we have, this is the I Dream, I, IKEA Dream Kit. Now what's the price difference between these two? <laughs> How am I going to fool around with that there, trying to keep it in frame? Uh, well, <laughs> so we have right here, everything is going to be, what would we say? $11.99. Oh, I, I nearly forgot, forgot. The coup de gras. <laughs> I, I like this, actually. I can't get it out. We have a two-in-one hammer. We've got a soft rubber head. So if you uh, don't want to mar a surface or you want to, Tap your cabinets into alignment that you bought from Ikea that uh, uh, kind of fit your house. Well, there you go. <laughs> You're going to lose that. Well, unless you keep it in that nice orange kit. And of course, why wouldn't you, right? But that, I thought that was pretty nice. I can't do that with my, my $100 hammer here. <laughs> so, so overall, it's pretty good. I think this video went longer than I was expecting it to go. How about this? We'll do another one and we will test it. Uh, we'll put them through the test. We will cut hard wire. Uh, we will try to tighten a large size bolt, see the strength of it. Uh, we'll even drive um, some really nasty three inch long screws and see if we can do that with the bit, how they height, how they bolt and, or, or how, they, <laughs> they, how it holds and how many, can we pound 16 penny galvanized with the, uh, the little uh, Ikea framing hammer? This, we'll see. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Well, this was a complete waste of your time, but we do have fun around here. So thanks for watching. Keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your family. Stay tuned uh, for the, the great IKEA tool test coming up next.